Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal. So, Mobile World Congress has been canceled and so a lot of makers and brands have been announcing their products individually or some kind of independent presentation, where whatever it may be or wherever it may be. And so that's what LG and so few others or many others did. LG has announced their successor to the V50 and V50 thank you we are on the new LG V60 ThinQ 5G and this is my thoughts analysis and rant and rant so the LG V60 ThinQ 5G that's a long name why don't you just call it LG V60 there's no use of ThinQ so I'm just gonna tell you what my thoughts right now and then we'll get to the specs. This is a boring phone. There's nothing exciting about it. I guess the only thing exciting about it is that there's 5G, I guess. But let's get on with the specs. So first and foremost, it's this is a big phone. 6.0 inch screen with uh, 295 pixel per inch uh, density is a 1080 plus display 1080 by 2460 resolution it comes with Gorilla, uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 5 always on display Qualcomm 865 128 gigs of RAM uh, I mean 128 gigs of storage and 8 gigs of RAM 3 cameras 64 megapixels f1.8 27 millimeter with OIS and base detect 13 megapixels f1.9 ultra wide 12 millimeters no ois and then 0.3 megapixels with depth of field 3d so technically it's a two lens camera and then the video features are 4k at no no i'm sorry 8k at 30 frames per second and then 4K at 3060 and then 1080 could be around at 3060 and 120 and then on the front we got 20, 10 megapixels 30 millimeter standard f1.9 with no no OIS and it will have 4K at 30 frames per second moving on it has a headphone jack and obviously it comes with a quad DAC 32 bit audio there's also four, uh, spe uh, four microphones all around the phone. It has stereo speakers. It has Bluetooth 5.1 and then Aptex HD. Comes with USB Type C 3.1. Fingerprint sensor basically on the display. 5,000 milliamps of battery. That's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie about that. And then it has wireless charging and it only comes in two colors classy blue and classy white wow so those are the specs so my thoughts on this phone well it's a boring phone there's nothing new about it it's kind of just like hey i'm doing it too it's a me too phone it's a me too phone don't get me wrong i've oh i've i've used my lg g5 for two years or two and a half years and then my b20 uh, I sold that thing. I used it as my first video uh, device to record a lot of my early videos here in YouTube. So that was a pretty good phone. After that, I don't know why I have the LG. So let's get to the analysis here, okay? In terms of, let's put it in a vacuum and let's compare it and put it on the market. Just like the V50, it's not gonna make waves. It's not gonna raise LG's market share. It might actually lose LG a lot of money. And yes, they are touting the uh, dual phone, dual screen accessory, which turns the LG V60 ThinQ with two displays. It's basically like a notebook. I don't know why they keep calling it ThinQ. But in the market, with this competitive nature of the smartphones, 
uh, Samsung has brought out S20 Ultras. The, obviously, the iPhone brought out the 11 Pro Max. All kinds of monikers and names. LG has not bringing bring anything new. Now, in terms of hardware, actually, they are since there are four microphones, they are saying that they call it voice bokeh, meaning you can isolate the voice and make a good audio in your video. Now, look, I don't know how that's gonna affect the phone in terms of sales. But in a market where it's competitive, I don't know that this phone will perform as well. Can it compete with the top of the line in terms of specs? Yes. But will the consumer see that? And that's something that LG needs to work on it's not just the v60 it's also its other phones itself and sadly i don't see them being chosen by the general consumer now let's get on to the rant here okay now i don't now it looks like this phone is probably going to be around let's say 900 to a thousand dollars let's just assume you know what i'm going to be generous 800 to a thousand dollars depending on the market so first of all you need to buy an accessory to take advantage of the dual screen now youtube has been upgraded to that dual screen display which is pretty good but it doesn't feel like you're missing much so not only that's an accessory so it actually only has two cameras instead of three now I don't mean to complain about having two cameras two lenses actually instead of three lenses now but everybody's going on with three lenses why, why not just put three lenses why 5g why even add 5g I mean especially on this phone I, I really don't understand why this phone needs 5g obviously when you buy this phone and then the next year you're gonna buy a new phone so why need why need it why have it especially on the especially on the on the phone where I don't think I mean on the phone where it's gonna be afterthought and I know I'm banging on about this phone but it, it, there's nothing much not only that for a 6.8 inch display you only have HD plus resolution I am not okay with that you should have just put a 4k display especially on a 5000 milliamp battery and if you need to downgrade the resolution why don't you just do what Samsung does and just lower down the resolution why not just do that and lastly why the thin q name i mean what does it really do I i'm still confused uh, does thin q really make that much of a difference i've always thought thin q was just more of software thing and if it is what's the point what is the point of the thin q name can anybody tell me if, if i ask you hey what is the thin q uh, what does thin q does in terms of making you use device much easier and much better i mean I, I can't think of anything right now lg doesn't have an ide identity is there thank you identity now credit give credit where credit dude it has 5000 milliamps of battery i mean it has oled it has vo voice voice uh, bokeh not only that it still comes with audio jack and the quad DAC, which is i think to me is amazing but let's not th make things complicated just call this a, a v60 that's all it is it's just a lg v60 and so that basically concludes this thoughts analysis and rant and rant of the lg v60 i truly hope that lg survives another onslaught 
of smartphones this year because I really want to do see LG V60 be competitive again because as the rising prices of smartphones getting expensive and going up competition is best to lower the price obviously innovation to see who got what who got better and who got the best uh, type of hardware out there and so if you have any further down in the comments below let me know and so that basically concludes this thoughts analysis and rant and rant of the LG V60 ThinQ 5G. Bye bye.